frolicking friends and welcome back to my channel today we are in create a sim as I'm making a sim for one of my friends Manda also known as 50 mile high club on tumblr what you just saw me doing was um, randomizing the starting sim I like to do that to get night different inspirations or ideas till I find something I like I really had fun playing around with the new skin tone update since I'm making Manda a uh, vanilla sim, sorry, I'm used to berry sims and the slider thing that they updated to doesn't work so it was really fun to try out all new skin tones and play with that slider a little bit and maybe find something a little bit unique. Um, here I'm messing around with the nose. I wanted to try to give her a new unique nose, something different than I've done on previous sims. Um, but I did give her the traditional, I always like to move the, the jaw back. I don't know, that's just my thing when I make sims. I think every single one of my sims I create, I always move the jaw back as far as I can. Um, I had trouble remembering what my usual lip like preset was that I like to use um, but I ended up liking the one I went with I don't know if it's my typical one I also decided to try these more puffy eyes I don't know if that's the right term um, than what I typically do just trying to make my sims look different I feel like sometimes they always look the same but I think it's just because that's like the aesthetic of my sim so it's like even when I'm trying to make these small changes um, they still end up looking like my sims and maybe that's not the worst thing um, so here again I'm messing around with just those final touches of her face making sure that I like how it's turning out. Now the sim that Manda requested was using the color Cerulean. So her eyes and hair are gonna be that bright blue. I believe maybe this swatch is called Blue Moon from Noodle Sorbet Remix Palette. Um, and then here we see the, the hair color going blue uh, Cerulean as well. And then Manda also requested that she be like a uh, beach life sort of sim. So I did a lot of stuff from the Island Living Pack, of course, including her hair. Um, sorry. <laughs> so then I come into the uh, create a sim like skin details menu and play around with all sorts of different swatches here. Um, I found most of these just through downloads of other sims that people have created for me um, and you know linked their CC and so I just like to try out all the different things until I, I find something that I like. Um, I decided I wanted to give her quite a bit of freckles so here you can see me playing around with some different CC freckles until I find a swatch that I like and this nose shade, oh I played with a different one, this one here. Oh, it's like my new favorite thing and there's a few different options and they make the nose look so different with each of them. Um, so that's a recent find that I'm really loving. And we're just continuing to try out all these different nose masks. Some of them I keep, some of them I take off. And I think we're just about done with skin, skin details after I add in those mouth creases. Trying to play around with different teeth, but ultimately I decided to just go with the, the natural basic ones. Sometimes when I'm doing like sims for other people, I like to minimize the amount of CC I use. Um, and here I'm just giving her a nice natural curvy body. Not too skinny, but you know, some nice beautiful curves to take to the beach. Um, the makeup was really interesting with um, a vanilla sim. I'm so used to the berry colored skin tones that um, I almost forgot like what makeup normal people wear, um, which is kind of silly seeing how like, okay, real life, I have normal colored skin and I do my makeup all the time. But it was really difficult to find which swatches look good on natural skin. Some of my favorites that I like for berries looked, you know, different on a natural skin tone. Um, but I think I ended up liking what I did here. I wanted to give her a very like sun-kissed, slightly sunburnt look if she's going to spend her days at the beach. Um, and so this is this is what I came up with. Then I'm on to just setting her everyday outfit. Um, I only needed to do the everyday outfit. 
um, since this is for a create a sim challenge and so um, I went to the island living pack and then played around with some different tops seeing what blue swatches they had available and so at first I picked this tank top um, and but as I'm trying to find shorts or skirt or something to go with it I'm just having no luck so I end up going back and changing to a different top this one here and this one I felt like looked a lot better with some of the skirts so I decided to give her this cute blue wrap skirt with the flowers on it and of course no beach outfit is complete without a pair of sandals um, I, the bracelets weren't showing up with the shirt but I did decide to give her this cute necklace for her aspiration, I believe I gave her the like beach one and then I gave her I Child of the Island and out Loves the Outdoors and Outgoing. I love this website for names. Um, it's called One Look Thesaurus and it's better than any thesaurus. It gives me uh, different things. Like for example, it gave me Playa for beach, like the Spanish word. So I ended up doing the last name La Playa and then I decided to modify the name Shore into Shorelissa. And so there we have Shorelissa La Playa. Thanks for watching you guys.